Sentence mining by screenshotting a video clip, recording the audio, and pasting those into Anki is not a new idea. However, all the hotkeys, coordination, and things to remember makes this process much more complicated than it needs to be. To solve this problem, I created a Windows Form application and wrote multiple scripts that allow you to take a screenshot, record audio, and paste them into an Anki card with just three hockey presses. Since it either clicks the mouse or presses the spacebar for you to play or pause the video, it should work on any website, not just Netflix. The first hotkey takes a screenshot, plays the video, and starts recording the audio. And pressing it again, pauses the video, and stops recording the audio. A second hotkey pastes both the screenshot and audio into Anki. YouTube and Netflix have browser extensions that allow you to easily copy and paste subtitles. But on other websites, what do you do if the subtitles are baked into the video, rendering them uncopyable? Just screenshot each subtitle, and a third hotkey pastes them all in order, resizes them, and can make them black and white for increased readability. It's worth mentioning that these cards look great on mobile too. Unfortunately, these scripts are Windows only, so they will not work on Mac or Linux. With that out of the way, what will you need to download? ShareX will be used to take screenshots and record desktop audio. If you already have it downloaded, be sure that you're on version 15, as the layout of some things are slightly different. Anki is an electronic flash art application, and any flash art software that supports images and audio should work too. The screenshot, audio, and any other text like subtitles or translations will be placed in the flashcard. Any version of Anki should work. Ditto will be used to store and paste multiple copied items at once into an Anki card. Version 3.24.238 is the latest version as of the making of this video, so use that if future versions don't work. AutoHockey is a programming language geared towards scripting and automation, primarily through inputting keyboard presses for you. It will chain together multiple actions in ShareX and Ditto. Download version 2 from the site. Finally, you can download this from my GitHub, link in the description. Click Code and download zip. Right click it and extract it. It doesn't matter where you put this folder, just that it's somewhere you can easily access. Some of you may have already set up ShareX to record desktop audio with a hotkey, so if you have, skip to this timestamp. The following steps are taken from Matt vs Japan's video quickly grabbing audio with ShareX, so credit goes to him, but for convenience, I'll summarize the steps here. Open the hockey settings by right-clicking on the small icon and clicking hockey settings. Click add, screen record, and start slash stop screen recording using active window region. After clicking the gear icon in task, click override after captured tasks and ensure copy file to clipboard is the only one selected. Navigate to capture and override capture settings. Navigate to screen recorder and screen recording options. Then install recorder devices which will add the virtual audio capture option to the audio, and make sure that it is selected. Make the video source none and set the audio codec to MP3. Close this window out. General, override general settings. In notifications, uncheck the first three. Navigate to task. To make this task easier to remember, put something along the lines of record audio in the description. Close this window and set the hotkey to something that doesn't conflict with any other program. This hotkey doesn't have to be easily pressable, because the script will press it for you. I'll set mine to Control alt r by clicking here and pressing that hotkey. Screenshots may seem pointless, but they can help jog your memory of the context of the scene, so I highly recommend them. However, if you do not want any screenshots at all, skip to this timestamp. In ShareX, go to Hockey Settings, click Add, and set it to Capture Pre-Configured Region. Click the gear icon, Override After Capture Settings and make sure that Add Image Effects and Copy Image to Clipboard are the only ones selected. General, Override General Settings. Notifications, uncheck the first three. Capture, Override Capture Settings. And ensure Show Cursor in Screenshots is unchecked. Go to your video watching website and act as if you're about to sentence mine, arranging your windows and programs in your usual setup. Chances are, you don't watch your content in full screen, so this screenshot hockey will automatically crop the screenshot to a predetermined area. Under Pre-Configured Region, click Select Region and select the area of the video, avoiding capturing any subtitles as well. That cropped region has been saved, and you can easily repeat this process when updating it is needed. Image, Override Image Settings, Effects, Image Effects Configuration. Delete the default preset that is in there already with the red minus sign. Now, in my folder, double-click Resize Effects. Resizing the screenshot is optional, but I highly recommend it because the images take up a lot of space on the card, 
physically and in file size. If you end up making hundreds or thousands of these cards, the size of your Aki deck can get unnecessarily large, and sync times can be longer. Resizing it also makes the card look cleaner in the mobile app. 144p is selected by default, and if this is too small or too big, you can always change it later. However, be sure that only one resize effect is selected. If you still don't want to resize the image, don't check any of them. Close this window out, go back to the task settings, and go to task. To make this task easier to remember, we name it something along the lines of cropped screenshot. Close this window out, and set the hotkey to whatever you wish, making sure that it doesn't conflict with any other program. This hotkey doesn't have to be easily pressable, because the script will press it for you. I'll set mine to Control alt s by clicking here and pressing that hotkey. After downloading Ditto, right-click in the small taskbar and click Options. Go to the Keyboard Shortcuts tab, and for Activate Ditto, choose a hotkey that doesn't conflict with any other program. It doesn't have to be easily pressable, because the script will press it for you. I'll be using Control shift alt d by clicking here and pressing that hotkey. Click OK to save the changes. Any flashcard software that supports images and audio should work, but by far the most popular one is Anki. Explaining all the intricacies of this program is beyond the scope of this video, but if you're a new user, just know that images, audio, and text can be pasted into a card. After having downloaded the folder from my GitHub, go into the main folder and locate Anki Audio Sentence Card Script, Anki Audio Sentence Card Script, bin, debug, and then the application, which is called Ankyo Audio Sentence Card Script. This is a Windows Form application, and you can open it by double-clicking. It might get caught in Windows Antivirus, so if it does, click More Info and Run Anyway. This form controls the hotkeys that you will press to start the scripts, and the hotkeys, sharex, and ditto that the script will press for you. A hotkey is entered into the form using AutoHotKey's programming language, and a basic guide is given at the top. Official documentation on this hockey language can be found at the link provided. The first three hockeys at the top will be the ones that you press to start the scripts, so make these something that is easily pressable. By default, they are Control shift f one Control shift f 2 and Control shift f 3 Make sure the hotkeys for Take Screenshot and Record Audio match. Make sure the hockey for Activate Ditto matches. When a screenshot is taken for you, you are given the option to choose if it is taken at the beginning of the clip, at the end of the clip, or if no screenshot is taken at all. On practically every video watching website, left clicking the screen or pressing the spacebar plays or pauses the video. However, each one comes with its advantages and disadvantages. Left click advantages. At least for Netflix, left clicking the play button takes up significantly less time than pressing the spacebar for some reason. Left click disadvantages. Your mouse has to be over the screen or play button. Spacebar advantages. You don't have to worry where your mouse is. Spacebar disadvantages. You have to make sure that the video window is focused. What is focus? Focus is basically the default location that the keyboard types in. For example, if Anki has focus instead of your video window, it'll press the spacebar inside there. So just make sure that it presses the spacebar inside the video window by having clicked somewhere in there. Personally, I prefer letting the left click automatically play or pause the video, so I'll use that method. ShareX, Ditto, and your computer cannot run the actions of these scripts instantaneously, which is why a delay is required in the scripts. When ShareX records audio, it takes a fraction of a second to start playing, it can be seen from this red outline going to green, and that is why a delay for ShareX audio recording to start is needed, which is the delay necessary to play the video once you press the primary hotkey. This is a very rough estimate and may vary depending on your computer speed. Leave these two variables as they are, and we'll adjust them later if necessary. Saving the changes, along with open all scripts, runs the scripts, and you might get a message asking you to download a version of auto hotkey. If you do, you only need to click yes to one and say no to the others. Now, if you click Open All Scripts, three H's will appear in the small taskbar. This means that the scripts are activated, and the primary hotkeys will trigger them. When you're done sentence mining, you can click Close All Scripts to close them out. Keep in mind that this form does not have to be open while the scripts are active. As long as the three H's are in the small taskbar, it should work. To make this form easy to access, I suggest creating a shortcut by right-clicking, clicking Create Shortcut, and putting it somewhere convenient. On Windows 11, Create Shortcut will be in Show More Options. If you use Google Chrome and send this mine with Netflix, you will have to disable hardware acceleration, or else your screenshot will just be a black screen. Most likely, you're going to put the subtitles and translation of the clip into Anki. If you use Google Chrome and Netflix, the Language Reactor extension allows you to view dual subtitles at the same time, and copy-paste the subtitles into your flashcard. For Firefox and Netflix, 
There exist similar extensions such as Netflix bilingual subtitles and Subadub that do more or less the same thing. Now copy and pasting subtitles sentence by sentence with these browser extensions is not the most efficient. ShareX has a tool called OCR that can take text from a screenshot and convert it into real text. If you're not interested in setting this up though, skip to this timestamp. To set up OCR, click Add Tools OCR. After clicking the gear icon, Capture, Override Capture Settings, OCR, and click the language of the text you will be grabbing. If your language doesn't show up here, it's because you haven't installed language to Windows. In the Windows Preferences, go to the Language Settings, Add Language there, and Restart ShareX. Click Process OCR Silently. Close this window and choose a hockey that is easily pressable, because you will be pressing that hockey. I'll choose Control alt o If you're not watching your content on Netflix or a popular platform, you might not be able to simply copy and paste subtitles, especially if they're embedded into the video. Trust me, Shrex's OCR is very inconsistent at best. Instead of manually typing out the subtitles, you can screenshot each subtitle and use another script of mine to automatically paste them. If you don't need to do this though, skip to this timestamp. In ShareX, go to Hockey Settings, click Add, and set it to Capture Region. Click the Gear, General, Override General Settings, Notifications, and uncheck the Verse 3. Image, Override Image Settings, Effects, Image Effects Configuration. Delete the default preset that is here for the red minus sign. Go to My Folder you downloaded and double click Subtitle Effects. As stated before, Images pasted into Anki are almost always too big, taking up too much space on the card. Fixed height means your subtitles will look like this, while fixed width looks like this. Choose which one you like better. I'll be choosing a fixed height, so be sure to only check off one. The final effect is grayscale, and is optional. I like it because usually the background of the subtitle is a bit too distracting, so this makes it more readable. Close this window out, go back to the task settings, and go to task. To make this task easier to remember, Rename it something along the lines of Capture Subtitle. Close this window and set the hotkey to whatever you wish, making sure that it doesn't conflict with any other program. Make sure it's easily pressable. I'll be using Control alt p We're finally ready to do a test run of the scripts. Ensure that ShareX, Ditto, and all three scripts are running by seeing if they appear in the small taskbar. If you do not see three H's, open the form and click on Open All Scripts to open the scripts. If you have left click enabled, remember to put your mouse over the video or play button. If you have the spacebar enabled, make sure that the video window has focus. As stated previously, focus is basically the default location that the keyboard types. So just make sure that it presses the spacebar inside the video window by having clicked somewhere in there. I'll press the hockey I set up, which is Control Shift F1 to start it. Control Shift F1 stops it. The screenshot and audio files have been automatically copied to the clipboard. And now I'll go over to Anki and press Control Shift F2 to paste them. For some reason, the first time you record audio with ShareX after starting your computer, it takes a tad longer. So if the audio was cut off on this one, try it again. Language Reactor, the Chrome extension I'm using, allows me to copy and paste subtitles. If you chose to set up OCR, you can press that hotkey to grab the area and paste the text. If the subtitles are embedded into the video, rendering them uncopyable, you can use the method of screenshotting each subtitle. You will also have to remember how many screenshots you take. By the way, this is a good opportunity to demonstrate that you can change the settings in the form on the fly and the scripts will reload once you save the changes. Your computer may be a bit slower, meaning that the recording and pasting may be messed up. If so, increase the general delay by increments of 50 milliseconds or so. Remember that roughly speaking, the general delay controls how fast the script runs. There is also a chance that the audio might be slightly cut off. For a delay for a ShareX audio recording to start, if the first part of the recording is silence, then decrease it. If the first part is cut off, increase it. For reference, my desktop can get away with 300 milliseconds, but my laptop needs about 500 milliseconds. Upon completing your sentence mining session, you can close the scripts by pressing Close All Scripts in the Windows form. Something I forgot to mention is that audio clips and subtitle screenshots will be saved to a file in the screenshots folder. I prefer storing both screenshots and audio because I'm unironically a data hoarder. The criteria for getting saved as a file appear to be somewhat inconsistent, so if you want to make sure a copied element is saved as a file, 
add save image to file in the task settings of that hotkey. However, if you do not want a copied element to be saved as a file, add delete file locally. There are a lot of steps in this video, and if it doesn't work properly, ask yourself these questions to try to troubleshoot. Do the hotkeys in the scripts in Sharks and Ditto match up? Are the hockey symbols for Control, Alt, and Shift correct? Did I accidentally make a letter uppercase where it should have been lowercase? Is my video window focused if I'm using the spacebar? Am I putting my mouse over the play button if I'm using left click? Is ShareX configured to copy my files to the clipboard? Is ShareX using the correct screenshot crop? Did I turn off hardware acceleration if I'm using Google Chrome and Netflix? Thanks for watching. I've been writing the script for this video and coding the programs over the past four months on and off, so I'd appreciate it if you liked the video, subscribed, and hit the bell icon if you found this useful. Also, share this video with other language learners if you think that they'll find it useful too. See you in the next video.